Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today's play is all about getting started. You know, that blank page, yeah, we all get that feeling when you look at it and go, what am I going to put on it? And today was one of those days for me. But there is a quote by Kurt Vonnegut that totally got me out of my head and got me playing. To practice any art, no matter how well or badly, is a way to make your soul grow. So do it. And that's what it came down to it for me today, is I just needed to start doing it. Now along the way, yeah, you'll see how I use some stencils and I pretty much make a big old hot mess, but I'm having a good time doing it. As I was down in the studio and thinking about getting started today, I started thinking a whole lot and thinking instead of doing, and I was really in my head. So I decided to just be inspired by that quote and it doesn't matter what I'm doing as long as I'm doing something. It might be a hot mess, it might be ugly, it might be horrible. That's okay because the bottom line is I need to start. That's the hardest thing for me whenever I'm in my head is to just actually start, especially when I was looking at that blank page. So what I did is I just grabbed this stencil called Verbiage that I created for over at Stencil Girl Products and I am stenciling in all the wrong ways with it. I am using a lot of very runny paint or fluid, not runny, it's fluid, it's a very wet paint, the Dilutions paint, and that means it's gonna run underneath the stencil. I'm smearing stuff around. You notice how like this stuff, look, it's all smeared. You can't really read all of it. This is imperfect stenciling. As a matter of fact, it might even be considered wrong stenciling because I'm going side to side. Things are smearing, things are hard to read, and I'm putting wet paint on top of wet paint, and guess what? I love it. Now, I have no idea where this is going, and if you know, if you've seen many of my videos, you know I don't like to really wait for anything to dry, so I'm not gonna wait for this to dry. I have just grabbed some oil pastels and I'm just kind of playing with them here. I am randomly making marks with absolutely no goal or purpose. You can see the wet paint smearing, but I'm having fun. And since I'm enjoying doing this, I'm gonna just keep grabbing more and more oil pastels until it's not as much fun anymore, or I get an idea of something else that I wanna do. But right now, I'm really having a lot of fun with those oil pastels. And by the way, why is it that I had that quote? Well, it was for Color Me Positive, and I am the guest artist this week over there for their art journaling challenge, and their goal is to fill the year with positivity and creativity, and I think they are doing an awesome job. So go check them out when you get a chance for their weekly art journal challenges. So I started thinking flowers, and to help me get the look of flowers on this very, very busy art journal background that I've created, I pulled out Terry Stegmiller's Bold Flower Stencils. Now she designed these for Stencil Go products. And what I'm gonna do, and by the way, you get the masks and the stencil all together in one. In this case, I'm just using the masks and I am just very carefully, yeah, carefully, uh-huh, very carefully stenciling around it. Yeah, you're not seeing anything careful on this, are you? And you know that. One thing that I am doing so that my lines stay crisp is I am pulling away from the mask whenever possible. That way paint doesn't run underneath it, but I can still use a fair amount of paint. That way I basically can do everything in one coat, one bit of coverage, because for me to actually take the time and go over things multiple times or be careful about it, well, that's just not as much fun for me. And right now I'm really all about just having the fun playing around with color in the art journal. Now, if I wanted to completely cover and obscure the background, because you can see bits and parts of it are peeking through, you can still see that there's something going on back there underneath the purple. You can actually get it all covered up by putting a lot more paint on it or coming over and doing like a second coat. I'm not gonna do that. I actually do like having that background peeking out some because frankly, I wanna see it. I had fun making it and I don't want it completely covered up. Now, since I haven't waited for anything to dry, if I want to put some outlines around these flowers, my best bet is to use some kind of fine liner. So I'm basically taking paint and drawing around it. I think there's ink in this one or high flow paint, and I keep clogging the no clog tip. Yes, these truly are no clog tips unless you do what I'm doing. Now I've got wet paint on there, I've got oil pastels, I've got all sorts of stuff on there. And as I drag this along, at different points, I'm actually pushing that oil pastel and wet paint up the actual um, nozzle tip. So I'm actually putting paint in the tube on a very small way. And that's what's actually clogging it up. Now, to get it unclogged, all I need to do whenever that happens is just stick that pin that comes in the cap all the way in there, and that makes it open right back up again, usually. Now, keep in mind, 
this is happening because I'm the one that's doing this. I'm pushing down fairly hard as I'm drawing around this. And that's what's forcing stuff to go up the nozzle instead of come out the nozzle. So now that I know what's causing this problem, what I could do is use a lighter hand or draw a little bit more carefully, that kind of stuff. But no, I'm just going to keep doing it the way I'm doing it and occasionally unclog the tip because you know what? They're really easy to get that stuff out of there and keep using. So now to get a little journaling and my thoughts on the page here, I'm going to grab a white Stabilo pencil and I'm just going to write all the way around the edge of this. Now you might think, ah, I can't read the words. That's okay. I can't either. I probably misspelled about half of them anyway. And a white Stabilo pencil can write over wet stuff, dry stuff, slick stuff, not slick stuff. It writes over just about everything. But anywhere where the paint is still wet, it does behave a little bit differently. And I kind of like that it gives me this sort of subtle edging all the way around the page. This page is just about complete for me, but the fun doesn't have to stop here. If you want to play some more, if you want some more videos, head on over to the blog at acolorfuljourney.com where I have got a newsletter where there will be a free video waiting for you as soon as you're signed up, as well as a free workshop called Permission to Play. Plus, be sure to check out the link on the blog post that goes with this video because that will take you directly over to the Color Me Positive Challenge and they've got all sorts of challenges and inspiration over there too. And of course, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll know as soon as I have a new video out and you won't miss a thing. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.